Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how you can change your font using the HTML editor. So right now I have my, um, I've created a new page and I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to go to my um, HTML editor here and I am going to paste my code. I'm actually going to go to the document that I created for codes and I'm going to copy this code for tabs here for colored tabs and paste it in this box. I will share this document in um, the video so I'll provide it below. And now I am going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to save it and voila. Now I have heard a lot of people, how, did, how is it that you got it to be this font. I want it to be a different kind of font. Well, actually for this account in the settings mode, I'll show you real quick. In my feature options, I have a Canvas elementary theme that I've turned on. So when I actually turn this off, you'll see that I'm back in the basic mode. I think this is like Arial font. And then when I click the elementary theme font, it changes it changes it for me, which is really nice. But if you don't have that option, because some districts are not providing that, and that's okay, uh, you can in pages. We'll go back to our created page here, and you can change this font in the HTML editor. Alrighty, so now I'm back in the HTML editor here and we're going to try to change the font of this text. So I already have a background color for this um, tab here or fragment and all I'm going to do is right here between the semicolon and the quotation, I'm going to add another type of style. So this style now is going to be called font family the font name. We're going to do another colon and then this time we're going to do single quotations here and then enter the name. So I'm just going to do Times New Roman single quotation and then close this by adding a semicolon here. So now I'll show you what it looks like in the preview. Let me click here. You can see that my font has now, one quick thing about fonts is that not every single font will work in your HTML editor. So you can't just pick, go to Google, pick a Google font, and enter it into your code. It won't always recognize the fonts. Um, the most basic fonts, like Times New Roman and um, Comic Sans, things like that, those are the kinds of fonts that will work here. So for example, I can go back here, I can select this and change it to Comic Sans. And when I then click the preview button, it changes it to Comic Sans here. So last thing I'm gonna show you is if you wanna add it, this font to let's say just like the content within your text box or your tab. All you have to do now, once you've written it out, you can copy this. Make sure I get the whole thing. Copy. Now before I paste the, the font family, I'm going to write style equals, oops, equals, and then paste, and then also add the quotation at the beginning because we have it at the end. Um, what I the the font that's up here and I can actually real quick I can go in and do that for all of my font here just real quick and then I'm just going to copy this actually like so make sure that there's that space there and now when I go into the preview, everything has changed into Comic Sans. And I can now hit save and see what it looks like. 
and well that's how you can change your font in tabs and also just in regular text form thanks guys